Hello again YouTube, this is trailer update part 4 I guess. So right now I'm working on putting together the cardboard boxes. All I'm doing is just taking sheets of cardboard. And so far I have big enough sheets I can use each sheet to make a box. Now I'm not sure with this one if I'm going to be able to, to do it too or not. But basically what I do is I just take a sheet and then see those creases right there? I use a pizza cutter. This pizza cutter right here and just go along the cardboard and make a crease in it. And then make them whatever size I want and then I'll show you... This is the box I already had pre-made, so I didn't have to do anything with this. But, yeah, basically this was just a big sheet of cardboard, and I just put creases in it with a pizza cutter. Same with this one. This one's going to be for the smaller parts, like the springs. And the reason why I wrapped the springs in bubble wrap was just for noise control, because obviously the springs are not going to get damaged in transport. But they just, when they knock together, they sound like a ringing of a bell, and that would get really annoying on a trip. So that will go in this last box that I made probably this piece here all these smaller pieces and uh, yeah as you see here I've got my small sledgehammer out here I've been actually doing some pounding I don't know if you can see but this piece of wood got quite a bit of damage to it it's just an old scrap piece of wood what I've been doing is I took the old mainframe pieces or spring holders as they are called and started pounding on them and then I clamped them in a in my vise and my workbench and started twisting on them and everything like that and look at what I got accomplished here this is this is the old piece this is the new piece that was made this old piece used to be all mangled it used to be the top part of it let's see yeah the top part of it up here was collapsed in it was twisted this top part was even twisted a little bit collapsed in and then it was actually bent out towards you and if you look along now I would say that's pretty dang straight within maybe I don't know, sixteenth of an inch of straight. No more hump. This part here I showed you was a really big hump. I cleaned it off first so that I could really see a little bit better. So obviously all the rust is gone and everything. I just kind of wire brushed it off. But yeah, this was just done with nothing but pounding and twisting in a vise. And not too bad, I would say. Now, I'm not really sure. I'm going to ask uh, some other people a little more experienced than me that I don't think it would be a good idea. It was It's always better to use a new piece if you can, but um, I'll have them take a look and see. Or possibly maybe, you know, use parts of this to, to reinforce that maybe. Um, the only thing I don't like about it though is it is galvanized, so I really wouldn't want to use a cutting torch to cut it, but I'm no metal expert. I know you're not supposed to inhale the fumes from galvanized stuff. You get what, um, galvanic... Um, fever or something like that from breathing in too many fumes so I don't know I'll leave that to the metalworking experts I was just surprised really I could I could beat and twist and pound on this and get it looking pretty much as good as new I mean as perfect to within like a sixteenth of an inch as you could get of straight and true and not twisted anymore so same with the other one too I've got the other one laying on the other table and I did the same thing with it um, only difference with the other one is I think it has yeah it has uh, two kind of real big deep scratches where I just kind of pounded the shit out of it with the hammer and put a couple scratches in it but I don't think that makes any difference it's pretty much as straight and true as this one so hey you never know until you try something so I thought I would just show you guys that so probably the only thing really left to do I may keep the axle piece as a separate piece and not even put it in the box just carry it as a separate piece and maybe the same way with the tongue assembly too but those right there, they're going in the cardboard box, so I've got to make at least one other as long as this one to put those pieces in. And then all the rest of my pieces are just short stuff, so hopefully everything will fit in this box that I made right here. So, fortunately, since it does not take any kind of room to store cardboard pieces, I've got cardboard pieces piled all over the place. Over, you can see some tables back there behind the bikes. There's all kinds of cardboard pieces stored back behind there. Um, there's a piece of drywall right in front of the piece of drywall is about six or seven sheets of cardboard So anytime I find a large sheet of cardboard, I just put it behind there You never know what you can use it for sometimes you just use it for ground cover really and then throw it away when it gets dirty So that's the progress so far um, Like I say every time I do another update I'm not sure if it's going to be an update here or an update when I'm uh, at the Buckeye boys place, but they'll happen when they happen So take care everybody